Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, part two of my um, Arteza projects. So uh, I'm using the graphite transfer paper and now I'm going to show you what it's, what it's mainly used for, but that's not how I want to use it in my project. Um, I have got in mind some projects uh, on a bigger scale, a little bit bigger scale than this, that they are going to work wonderful for. Um, I did this on the Alpha Challenge. I couldn't make it like my little book out of the uh, magazine because I really didn't have what I needed, so I kind of improvised. But this here is closer to that really cute um, little notes, uh, note gift sets. And um, anyway, I'm just thinking this would be really fun for Christmas or, uh, you know, things like that uh, to give as a gift. And I may go up on a, a, a taller scale, like maybe a mini composition book or a 5x7 size or something. And this is going to work great uh, for that especially. So I'm going to show you first what um, this is actually made for. It's just made for transferring an image. So I'm going to kind of just place this on my sheet of coffee stained paper. And the coloring books is what I really think of. Um, you know, or maybe you've doodled an image or something and you just want to transfer it. Um, I don't know. Anyway, this is just fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go over all this, but I thought it would be fun uh, just to kind of show you maybe what, uh, you know, this would work like if that is what you were planning to uh, use it for is the transfer. So I'm just going to, as a matter of fact, I'm probably just going to do the words here. Um, it would be great if you had um, a uh, font that you liked really well, but it wasn't on your um, computer to copy. You could always just transfer it. So, all right. And I think I will do this to a little bit of effect here and see what it comes out like. Whoops. Now you could use something else besides a pencil. But in order to really see where you've been, I would suggest something that uh, kind of, you know, that you could kind of write with. Uh, that would leave a mark on your on your paper you know and if we wanted to go bold we could go bold just by kind of coloring it in maybe okay I think I'm gonna stop there but uh, anyway there's a uh, kind of the transfer and uh, anyway, that would just be cute, just super cute if you're wanting to transfer a font. And then there's, like this should be a little, a little bolder, a little bolder in. And I could have done that. But anyway, that is mainly what your transfer paper is for. And then, of course, you can see on here where it has transferred it. And even that would be really cute on something if you just use the wanted to use that on some kind of project. Look how cute that lettering is. So anyway, guys, that is pretty much what it's made for. Okay, so my project, and like I said, maybe over Christmas I will put that in a, like a 5x7 composition notebook to alter the cover or something. Um, I think would be really cute. So I have just used... One of these little uh, Tim Holtz trinket pins to really uh, fasten my little notebook 
shut, I've used some of this pretty fabric, and just some uh, craft colored tissue paper, natural I think is what they call it. And then here is my little note. And I actually printed on the ledger paper. And so you can see the ledger coming through the photo. So, but I did tie this like it showed in the magazine. But you can't flip it open. You would actually just have to tear your uh, sheets out or just use it for a decoration. So, I'm going to do this project uh, a little different <clears throat> on this one we're going to do together. Let's see here. Let me. I've got my paper and I've already got my holes uh, cut. I mean, uh, punched out. And then I did use the black. Now, I used paint, but you could always use, don't uh, want to use an acrylic paint. Um, uh, I believe she used black gesso, but uh, before I get this, I want to make sure that I have got my fronts and backs the way they should be. There's always a right and a wrong. What I had actually done was I did my covers and I punched my holes and then I just laid it on top of the paper and kind of just drew with my pencil and then took my um, crocodile punch and punched it out. So um, I put quite a few sheets of paper in this one. So, and um, you can make your covers just basically any size that you, you know, decide you want your notebook to be. And, um, also, on my other little notebook, because I thought it looked nicer, I actually took and glued this to the one of the fronts and one of the back covers, so that when you lifted it up, you saw this instead of the black. So, that's something else you can do. Alright, so, first of all, once you get your covers uh, painted or gessoed or whatever it is you're going to do with them, then I go ahead, I just went ahead and strung, let's see here, this one here I want to do differently. I'm going to cut this in half, and I've just torn this uh, fabric. It's just hand ripped to give it a little frayed edge there. And this one here I'm actually going to take and tie these instead of going through my holes and putting the um, knot or bow in the front I'm going to loop them so when this goes up it'll hinge easier and you can actually open it up so I'm going to kind of get my holes lined up here again and Just go ahead and get your fabric poked through your holes. But this one here, I want to just, I'm going to do it where it will hinge that up. So, and I'm not going to really tie it just yet. I would have to have more fabric if I was going to make a bow. I do know that. This is not enough, um fabric to tie a bow in those. All right. Okay, so what I'm wanting is for this to hinge up. That's what I'm wanting it to do. So you just have to adjust your fabric accordingly to do that. Okay, so we're going to just leave those, and those would be prettier with a bow, but all right. I did fussy cut actually a couple of the photos out that I had um, printed I thought would be fun, and then I have mine that is on the ledger that I can cut out. I actually had two different photos, but... Um, But what I want to do is just, let's see.
This is pretty bit brittle, so it's easy tear. Okay. Just trying to fit that how I would want it. Okay. So, I'm going to put my transfer paper down because I want it underneath. And I took it and I just crumpled it. I wanted it a little crumply. And you could actually put it back side like this. Or you can do it front side. Now, if you do it front side, you will have to take something and rub, uh, rub a little bit of the transfer off. Or you can go back side like that. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm just going to get a little Fabri-Tac here. And I'm going to just rub a little bit of it off is what I will be doing. But I want it to be crumpled. I, I want it to look crumply and just kind of, you know, just kind of sloppy and crinkly on there. I want it to have a little bit of just that that contrast to the to the black. Okay, then I'm just going to take a paper towel and I'm going to rub some of that off so that it wouldn't get all um, all over everything. And then it will also lighten this up and let you see the wrinkles a little more. Can, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see. See how it's giving you the wrinkles? So just rub it real good. And it just takes that black off of there. I know, defeating the purpose. Okay, so I've got that pretty much off. Now, I want to get my ledger and I am going to ink this up but I want to ink it in some black so I've got my stays on still close to me and we're going for that little bit of grungy sloppy anyway okay and then I thought this was just fun, though. If I was to even just lay that there, would be really cute. Or even if I took another little layer of paper. Just rip it up a little bit. And, of course, crumple it. What if, just trying things out here, what if we were to take another little piece of that and even back it again? Oh, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Okay, I think, I think I'm going to do that. So, let's go ahead and get this stuck down. Okay, let's just... Kind of put that, and then I have a nice amount showing of the of the uh, transfer paper. Okay, and then I want this all wrinkly. So I'm just gonna put the glue directly on the, and I'm just gonna wrinkle it up. Liking it so far. Totally opposite of my other one. So this is the other one. And I, I really am going to like um, uh, putting just the cutout, the printout, kind of on top. I think I like that. Okay, so I'm going to rub and get my old uh, off here and just rub a little bit of that black off. Okay. 
All right, I love the kind of uh, color it gives once you rub it off a little bit. Okay. All right, so I think I'm just going to put her... Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that cutout. Let's see here. What did I just do with my my ink? Oh, there it is. I'm going to ink this up just a bit. This uh, image. We're going to just a little bit. Okay, and I'm wondering... Because she had her ha hand up against the old barn wood uh, doorway is what she had there. Do I want to put something there or not? Because this one here, I've got the washi tape going here. Maybe I would want the washi tape down the side. Maybe. Let's see before we stick it all down. Instead of on the bottom, maybe we would want the washi tape going here. And she just looks like she's got her hand up against the washi tape. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. And then a little black button. Okay, so I, I just took a second and thought I would get a couple of buttons there. And I think I, I like that pretty well if I was to use the washi tape. Um either on that side and I was hoping it wouldn't stick too much or I could actually move her over a little bit put my washi here with my buttons and just move her a little bit like that Okay, it's a real toss-up, but I actually think I like the wash or the buttons better on the uh, left side than the right side. So I think I think that's where I'm going. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this down, but I wanted a little bit of my make sure most of my ledger is showing. I mean, I have some ledger showing on this other side. Let's, uh, Okay, so let's just go ahead, and then her arm can kind of just be leaning up the end of the, the ledger paper. Okay, so let's just put a drop of glue, drop of glue, and drop of glue. Go ahead and stick those little buttons down on that washi tape. Oops. That one I got a little upside down. Okay, and they look like they're spaced out pretty well. And I'm going to go ahead and stick her down. Oops, I think I'll use my finer tip here for this. So we got this stuck down. Let me get me a different uh, napkin here. To... All right, that really looks cute. Just looks very vintage. All right, so cute. I love it. Okay, and like I said now, if I had gotten uh, longer, uh, some longer uh, things, the bows would be absolutely adorable. Okay, uh, let's see here. So now, I guess the only thing I really have to do is let my buttons dry, and then we can start uh, wrapping, uh, doing our wrap. So we will, uh, I'll be right back as soon as uh, the glue dries. Okay, so the buttons are nice and dry, and I went ahead and made a, a, a thinner 
a thinner even um, uh, piece of fabric than what I had and I went ahead and made bows. This is what I was wanting to do. But then I thought, well, it'd be a lot nicer and simpler if I used a little thinner fabric than the thick fabric that I had in there, the wide. So, um, it just, I don't know, I just like it with the little bows. And then it still is loose where you can flip, you know, flip it open and get to your paper. So, um, I like that a little bit better. And now we're just going to go ahead and wrap it. So, I've got, I've just cut this tissue paper. And I just cut it kind of the, um, the width I wanted it to be. Now, I like to give it, I want it to have a little bit of crumple to it. I don't want it to be all nice and neat. My other one, I kind of didn't crumple it before I went ahead and had it around. And then after I got it around, I wished I had crumpled it up a little bit. So, okay. So what I did was I just kind of going to start wrapping here. And I may have to adjust this a little bit better. Um... Yeah, because I'm going to have a little too much. So I'm going to, I want it to have at least this much on it. So it just gives it that nice um, um, little thicker tissue look, you know. And I'm just, there we go. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to pull it down on hair here. I want it to come down just a little. And I'm just going to leave it like that till I get my little piece of fabric. So here is my fabric. Now, um, you know, I didn't really measure the width of this. I just simply uh, kind of uh, cut it the width I thought it should be. And if it needed to be cut down a little more than I did, uh, I just kind of held it up there and looked at it, you know, against here to kind of cover, cover it um, pretty good. I didn't want it too much being, being exposed. So... I'm just going to take my fabric and I'm going to do the same thing, only my fabric, I think I will go ahead and just cut it a little bit and tear it off. So I just love that. I love the black. I love the polka dot. I really wanted and needed that when I did my um, holiday one, but I just didn't have everything I needed. So um, get my little... Um, trinket pin and I want one in kind of a gray or the pewter look yeah that's what I want that in and then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pull it out a little bit stick it just in the fabric and I'm going to want to get it a little high because of my uh, my tag yeah there we go not easy to get through that fabric. It's not a real sharp pin like a normal pin. But anyway, there's the little trinket pin. Alright, so to make the tag, it's really, really simple. Um, I took a big tag because I did not have a small one and I did want it stained. So I just took a big tag and I'm just cutting it down smaller is all I'm doing. I'm actually taking off I'm actually just going to take off these corners, and it's about the right size when I do that. And then I'm just going to cut it where I think, you know, the length of it needs to be. I will just kind of cut it. You know, and then if I decide it's too wide, then I'll just, you know, I'll just take and cut it down a little bit more. And it does look like this would be a little too wide. So I'm just going to make it a little more slender. All right. But if you have the little tags, they ought to work just perfect. But, but I just didn't have any, so just working with what I got. All right, so then I'm going to use this tag. Um, of course, my word vintage, get your word vintage, either stamp a, stamp a word or this is just printed off the um, computer. And then um, I used a little ledger and a little bit of my uh, transfer paper. 
you know, and you can have the transfer paper to the back, or you could actually have your ledger to the back. So I'm going to just kind of add a little glue, and I'm just going to crumple that up a little bit, just like I did everything else. I'm going to take my little rag and just kind of daub off some of the little ink there that's on there. Okay, and gives that nice grayish look. All right, and then you can just add your little piece of ledger. You know, just if you even want any ledger at all, you may just want um, your word. But just get your little bit of, you know, a ledger and then get your word and um, sew it on. So, or it would look, like I said, it would look fine without that as well. So what I thought would look cute is if I used even the string as well on my little tag. As well as the, um, the fabric. That's kind of what I'm thinking. You know, that it would just give it a little a little extra, you know, something on it. So then once you get your, um, your fabric kind of strung through your little tag, you're just going to put it through your pin. All right. And then you just want to give it like a little knot tie. That's all you really want to do. And probably the more frayed out your um, ribbon, you know, or your, probably the better. But that is, that is just a cute, a cute little um, gift, I think. And it's something different that, you know, that um, somebody else wouldn't have, actually. So there is the little, the little projects. I will have all the, um... Uh, information linked in the description box um, especially with uh, the graphite image paper and the um, the uh, scrapbook so uh, anyway there is my little project so fun have a great day, everybody, and stay crafty, and I will catch you in the next video.